Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So now finally we have a date for CSI net exam. The date according to the official uh, notification by CSIR is between 16th of February to 28th of February. That's where we'll be having all the five subjects CSI net exam. Chemistry uh, or chemical sciences, I'm expecting it to be conducted in the first few days. So I'm expecting it on 16th of February. That's what I'm expecting, but let's see what the final date is. But let's assume that our CSR net exam for chemical science is on 16th. So considering 16th as the date of exam, we have around two months for the exam as of now, right? A uh, little bit more than two months, but technically let's consider it as two months, okay? So this is a video where I'm going to talk about that what are the things that you can do in these two months which can help you to get good score, especially if you were uh, like dragged out of your preparation because of the delay in CSI net notification and all the things happening around. Also because you are having a gate exam nearby, so this particular strategy is kind of hybrid strategy which can help you to prepare for both of these exams, okay? Because I know most of you who are appearing for this exam are also going to be appearing for gate exam as well. So this is going to be a kind of hybrid strategy, okay? But uh, if you if you are not giving gate exam, then also this is going to help you out, okay? So there are certain things which you do not have to do as of now, okay? When you have some days, you already know how many days you have for the exam. So there are a few things which you can avoid, okay? Number one thing which you can avoid is rushing through it, okay? You, you should not rush through. You should not think that, okay, I just have two months and I am going to do all the things today and I'm just going to do, uh, like I'm going to solve questions also. I'm going to do test series also. I'm going to do everything today or everything in less time, okay? That you do not have to do. Take your time, okay? Because right now it is very important to cover your syllabus because when you sit for the exam, it's actually very important to know and to cover a lot of part of your syllabus, especially if you have not covered 60 to 70 percent of your syllabus, that is going to make it the things difficult, okay, especially when the exam is so competitive these days, okay. So considering that, the first thing which I will suggest you is to cover your syllabus, at least complete 60 to 70 percent of it. I'm not telling you to study each and everything because that's not possible, okay. Nobody is uh, is there who prepares for CSI net exam and covers each and everything from the syllabus, okay. It's like uh, generally people study two part of it like organic inorganic or physical inorganic and the third one they just hover around the topics. So I'll give you a list of certain topics because I have also made detailed videos on it where I have discussed the weightage of these topics. But just to summarize, this is a table which you can see right now on your screen. In this table, the uh, the topics which are mentioned in yellow color, they are high weightage topics, okay? So you should not, uh, if you have, let's say, covered organic and inorganic, so make sure that these high weightage topics are covered. And if you are leaving physical chemistry completely, that should not happen, okay? At least try to cover some topics from physical chemistry, at least try to do them which are easy as well as have high weightage, okay? So try to do them that way so that you have a lot of content when you sit for the exam, you have a lot of things in your mind and you have a lot of things with you where you have studied and you have uh, concepts ready for you to sit in the exam and talk, to solve questions with that, okay? So that's the first thing which you have to do, cover at least 60 to 70 percent of your syllabus. This thing you can keep doing until the end of December and in January, I'll be making another video where I'll be talking about what are the things that you have to do then. But as of now, you can keep studying your concepts keep making short notes of yours because these notes are going to be helpful in the later stage when the exam will be near, okay? So right now you can keep studying your concepts, keep exp uh, like keep exploring the topics, keep including more and more topics in your preparation so that by the end of December, you have almost 60 to 70 percent of your syllabus covered, okay? In case if you have not even started your preparation, in that case, I will suggest you to start at least from those topics which have high weightage and start studying them in short try to cover as much possible, as much topics as possible, okay? As I said, 60 to 70 percent of your syllabus needs to be covered when you sit in the exam. If you are covering more than that, well and good, but minimum 60 percent, 70 percent syllabus needs to be covered, okay? So that's the first thing which you have to do. And the second thing which you have to do is you have to keep revising things, okay? Because you, you know, when you prepare for exam, from my experience, I'm telling you, from the experience of students, I'm telling you that when you study for the exam, when you, let's say you have today studied, let's say chemical kinetics and tomorrow you started, uh, let's say some topic of inorganic chemistry, 
and uh, then you will start forgetting the formula or you will start forgetting what you have studied a day before or you will start forgetting the things which you have studied few days back. So, it becomes very important to do a regular interval of revision or I would say a cyclic revision because when you do not revise you will start forgetting things and that is not going to help you in any way okay. Because another way uh, or an again giving more effort to the same topic after few days it is not going to help okay. So, try to revise the concepts as you start studying and the best way which I will suggest you to prepare is to study all the three things parallelly. Do not just focus on one thing and then jump to the other and then jump to the third one. In that way you will forget more frequently okay. So, in order to keep the track of all the three try to divide your time uh, of your preparation try to divide that time in a way that you are giving some time to organic chemistry, some time to inorganic chemistry, some time to physical chemistry and do not forget you also have to prepare uh, uh, aptitude part. So, for that you do not have to give a lot of time you can just give uh, like 15 to half an hour to your general aptitude just solve previous years question that is all okay and you do not have to do that daily as of now you can just skip that for now maybe from January you can start doing that. But for now you have to cover your syllabus okay. So, all three you have to divide in a way so that you are doing all three or you are preparing all the three parallelly and uh, that is how you will be able to cover more and more syllabus and for that of course, you have to increase the number of hours which you were giving for your preparation. See, if you will give more time now, okay, probably you do not have to give another attempt. So, very important thing that do not get uh, mislead by a lot of people are there okay, and it's, it, it depends upon person to person. There are certain people who just study for 3-4 hours and that is enough for them and they have qualified the exam. And in their videos, if you will see their uh, interviews and their videos, they will say that they have just studied 3 or 4 hours a day. Uh, but for you, or for everyone who is preparing as of now, this is going to be different, okay. So, do not consider others strategies like that upon yourself, okay. Try to maximize your time, whatever time you have because see the next few months are going to decide what result or what score you are going to get. So, try to give your best, okay. That is that's the main thing which I, am, I, I want to say. Uh, again, uh, uh, additional thing which comes with it is that try to avoid social media for few months okay. I know it is very difficult, it is very addictive, everybody gets addicted to uh, Instagram reels and uh, you know social media post but try to avoid them. Certain fix, fix certain time in a day that this much time I will give to uh, social media and then I will stick back to my studies okay. So, try to do that in that way you will be able to maximize your uh, like time for your preparation. Okay. So, yeah. So, first thing is to maximize or to increase the number of topics so that you cover at least 60 to 70 percent of your syllabus. Second thing is to revise the topics. Okay. And the third most important thing is to solve previous year's questions. So, when you are preparing a topic, it is always recommended to solve questions along with it. And for there, your topic wise questions or topic wise previous years are going to help. We have our own ebook launched and if you want you can purchase that link is there in the description of this video. Uh, so, in that particular ebook you will find uh, questions from CSIR uh, June 2011 till CSIR uh, the last CSIR which was CSIR June 2024. So, you have all the questions from there and they are segregated in topic wise manner so that uh, if you will go and if you will uh, see a particular topic you will have all the questions asked from that particular topic ever since 2011 till 2024. So, in that way you have the collection of all the questions along with their detailed solution. So, in case if you are not able to solve it or if in case you do not know the concept or if in case you do not know what the formula is going to be used in that question, you have solution for that, you can uh, look upon it and you can solve that question. So, that makes uh, it very easy to prepare a particular topic. In Let us say you already know that thermodynamics is a topic which is uh, not good for you or you are not good at thermodynamics. So, what you have to do is just give some time to thermodynamics, try to study it from uh, like if you want you can join our gamma batch where I have explained all these topics in detail. I have made detailed videos over there. These are detailed lectures where you can access them uh, like these are like classes, recorded classes. And with that you will have a lot of insight, you will have a lot of concept building of the particular topic. Okay, So, if you want you can join our gamma batch, it is already running on our app and on the website as well. 
so yeah so you can go and watch that particular lecture you can understand what thermodynamics and what are the important formula how to apply them and all these things are mentioned in that particular video once you are done with it you can start solving previous years question uh, and then let's say if you are getting stuck at a particular concept let's say you are not able to solve a question of clausius clapeyron equation then you have to get back again try to prepare that clausius clapeyron equation or try to revise clausius clapeyron equation and again start your uh, like again resume your problem solving approach so in this way you are not only studying a concept but you are also revising it and along with that you are also trying to solve that question related to that particular topic that is building the problem solving approach which is very very important for the exam point of view right so these are the three major things which you have to do as of now when this December is going to end because we already have around 20 days now so you can keep doing these things for the next 20 days but next after this December ends and once you are having January then we will be having around 45 days left for the exam there we will discuss that how you can start with your mock test or you can start with your test series and then how you can manage time or how you can practice so that it gives you an idea that uh, exam like interface or exam like experience how to build up that we are also working upon it we are working upon our own uh, like uh, mock test and test series for CSI net exam which will be launched very soon so stay tuned for that okay but as of now try to do three major things cover your syllabus around 60 to 70 percent of your syllabus revise the concept so that you don't forget them at the later stage of when the exam will be near and third thing is try to solve previous years question these are the most important and the most basic things which you have to do as of now okay so that's all for this particular video if you guys have any other question you can ask me in the comment section below i'll try to make more videos specific to certain people let's say specific to those people who have been giving this exam multiple times who are repeaters for this exam and also for those who are giving this exam for the first time so those strategies videos are going to be uh, like they are going to come very soon on this channel so do subscribe it for that and uh, that's it from my side for this particular video take care bye bye and all the best for your exam